What's up everybody? In this video I want to review these new beautiful leather college spring Chelsea boots for you all. Now if you guys aren't into fashion or really understand what the heck I was just talking about, Chelsea boots are a men's staple. It is one of the fundamental, uh, most versatile boots and shoes out there. And there's really two big categorizations of them there's the uh there's a lead uh leather dress shoe version and then there are the suede version which is more like um it's kind of like rubbing your hand on a carpet i got the leather ones because they're more versatile you can wear them even with a suit and what makes chelsea boots unique is the fact that they are um they're essentially what i like to call no, they're laceless. So there's literally nothing but elastic on the side holding them up, which give them a very distinctive look. Now, I also want to give my review on Call It Spring as a store. So this is Call It Spring. Uh, this store has pretty much all of your men's fashion fundamentals. So if you're not familiar with the brand Call It Spring, it's basically like the H&M of shoes. What I mean by that is that H&M is kind of like Forever 21 where you have the most up-to-date fashions, the trendiest items, and they fit well, and they're really low price. Well, where's the catch? The catch is the price is really, really low, and Call It Spring is a low-tier, um, low to mid-tier shoe store in that sense. What I really like about it is their selection of shoes. You have everything that a dapper, um, well-dressed gentleman would want to wear. So nothing too crazy or hipster or out there. It's all the stuff that I really like in the outfit. Uh, stuff like your, you get your, com everything from com canvas shoes all the way to leather dress shoes from Oxfords all the way to loafers, penny loafers, Chukka boots and Chelsea boots. Now, you, the compromise is the quality. Uh, since the price is so low, the quality is not so good. However, the one exception I would say to that would probably be these bad boys right here. Now, let me kind of explain why these are maybe better quality. Look at them. Beautiful. Brand new, too. Now, I'm going to be honest, I am on a budget and if I had infinite money, I would not have gotten these from Call It Spring. I would have gone to a much higher end store like Nordstrom or Fry and I would have picked up a pair for much higher quality and much higher price. Having said these, these are one of the most expensive items in the store. Um, Different shoes at the store have different prices and it just so happens that it seems like they put extra effort into their Chelsea boots at the store and they make them very, uh, they're, they're, they're very pricey and the quality is therefore a bit better there. I bought about, I bought $40 um, dress shoes there and you could immediately tell that the leather was synthetic after a few wears outside. Um, the leather started uh, kind of ripping and tearing. So in this review, I kind of want to touch on a couple things that might help you. The first is a review on the store itself, the customer service, the quality. Uh, I've already given a bit of a hint at that. Another would be a review on these beautiful shoes. Another would be a review on the, the shoes as a whole at Call It Spring. And then I want to kind of go into some other stuff as, such as general... Um, Shoe tips, unique shoe tips that you won't find on other YouTube channels about men's fashion because uh, these are the things that they won't really mention. And it kind of just, the whole thing wraps around the theme of that I am a YouTube viewer and I'm actually executing on the advice that I've been uh, learning from these YouTube videos. You know, um, before this, I my fashion was horrible. I'm talking like grandpa... Um, running shoes like those and an oversized t-shirt and hair all over the place like your typical Asian kid who knows nothing about fashion huge hoodies that I wore every day 
two of them. You get the point. So it, it's really just like a story of how, um, you know, if I can do it, then maybe you can upgrade your fashion too on a budget. Now, I want to go back to the fact that I wouldn't have paid for these shoes if I had a higher budget. And the reason for that is I paid about $70 for these shoes. This is with the store-wide discount. So they have about a 20% discount uh, sale, but you can never trust these sales. These sales go on year long. So it's like, just kind of like Banana Republic, there's a long-standing sale, as the same with Express and many other stores. Um, they say it's a 40% or 20% sale, but you can't trust that. They, it's a year-long sale that's always going on. So with those sales applied, bought this for about 70 bucks, and I bought a pair of Oxfords for about 40. I returned the Oxfords after a few wears because immediately you could start seeing blemishes. The leather was clearly fake leather. Um, that's how they have the price so low because the quality is not good. Now with these, they were a bit more up there in price. And I just really love the dress shoe look on these. Um, you can truly wear this with a suit. You could wear this... Uh, with jeans, you could wear this with khakis, chinos. Uh, it's a very versatile outfit uh, uh, look, and that's what I love about sh um, outfits like this. I'm a very minimal. I love the whole minimalist, essential uh, wardrobe because we are on a budget and we want interchangeable clothes that are timeless to last us and make us look the best as we can. Plus, it really um, eliminates the drain of willpower fatigue that happens when you have to make extra decisions like what outfit to wear and which shoe to wear and so forth and I mean I I already have quite a few shoes um, and um, as soon as I started getting into this fashion sense even though I'm really into personal finance um, I couldn't resist buying bargain shoes so um, yeah this shoe I think it's it's pretty good it's a classic Chelsea boot there's no laces to it so you can just put it on now here's a men's fashion tip that I think you might find really interesting uh, with shoes like this I think what's really important is that uh, you make sure that your regional area and this goes beyond shoes it goes for outfits too it really depends on what your regional area is wearing so what I mean by that, and Antonio Centeno kind of brought up this point when um, he was debating a fellow fashion YouTuber, Ashley Weston, in one of their collaboration videos. And Ashley was like, oh, no one wears turtlenecks. It's stupid. It doesn't look good. And Antonio was like, whoa, 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 hold up here. Ashley Weston, you live in Los Angeles, California, where it's always hot. Of course you would never wear a turtleneck. However, I think Antonio said he lived like in the middle of... Um, uh, the U.S. where like there's nothing but farms somewhere where it was it got really cold in the winters and he was like back here turtlenecks are fashionable and they work great because the winters get so cold and we need to plug up those holes where the the coldness will seep in so his whole point was that the regional the regional looks are incredibly important to the uh, what outfits you choose. And I've applied this very subtle, more advanced fashion tip. Um, I was debating between V-necks first t-shirts for a long time before I went out and bought my first few essential uh, t-shirts or V-necks. You know, solid, plain, well-fitting V-necks rather than the, you know, random, ill-fitting t-shirts I had before. And before I did that, I asked a bunch of women, sometimes just strangers on the street, um, which do you prefer more? t-shirts or v-necks and the answers were almost unanimous there was a few who were like I don't care really but they said like 95% of them said v-necks I think it's a regional thing it very may well vary depending on which city or state you live in people have different tastes therefore if you just follow the blind advice of a youtuber it will get you very far however if you want to take your fashion to a more advanced level the regional aspect really plays a difference now I kind of um, have played that whole regional aspect for a lot of things but this is where I break the rule you see I really don't I didn't like these shoes until a month ago I saw 
tons of fashion male fashion YouTubers and Instagrammers talk about how this is like essential boot, essential shoe, every man should have it, blah, blah, blah. Um, I didn't really trust them. I mean, they could just be trying to sell the product, but it just kept coming up. So I was like, okay, it is an essential shoe. The problem was that I thought it was kind of ugly. I thought it was kind of feminine looking. Um, and really, the, the real issue was that um, in my region, I've been here for, um, I've been living in my region on the east coast of the United States for... Uh, my whole life and where I live I've never seen a single person maybe one or one person if that wear this type of boot no one's worn a Chelsea boot where I'm from so no I don't live in the middle of nowhere I live in a very well educated area with lots of moderate amount of people and I don't see it so does that mean that everyone's out of style or this is just not a boot that's popular or trendy or looked upon in our region and that's a question that I think a lot of people really don't consider so for that reason I ended up um, purchasing these desert chukka boots first because I prefer the look of these I think they're more versatile and I kind of did something very I thought it was kind of smart these look like suede they're they're kind of but they're really brown leather which is perfect because uh, with suede, they really don't work when it rains and it snows, which um, is something that happens here. So um, I needed leather, but I chose a color that made it look like suede from afar. So I got the best of both worlds. Anyhow, back on to this shoe. The main premise I kind of want to get to is that, you know, your regional stuff matters, but also somewhat stretching your comfort zone matters as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test out this shoe. It is a dress shoe version which is great the leather I don't think is authentic at this price point I don't think this leather is authentic however um, I will do my best to keep it as um, good as possible with polishing for as long as possible uh, and I'm still doing my research on that but I will test this out in my region I'll probably be the first person maybe ever to wear this in my region or maybe I'm, I just wasn't into fashion before so I didn't see any people wearing this but I don't just don't think it, it's common I think some people would think this look is ugly and that's what I thought for a long time but it started to grow on me I've seen a lot of people online wear the shoe and I think the biggest thing is I'm gonna test it out and it could flop it could fail um, and the, the only reason I'm putting the budget to test out this new thing rather than stick to the the surefire things is because um, I was going to return the uh, old call it shoe call it spring dress shoes the Oxfords anyways and they wouldn't give me just regular money back they only gave me in-store credit so um, I didn't want to buy really anything else in there so I chose these babies I thought they were a uh, men's essential and I, I wanted to see if that really was the case here uh, and and so that's why I bought these like it was you know I'm very into personal finance and, and saving and budgeting money as well but I th you know because it, we had in-store credit and I couldn't just cash it out um, I want to try this out so what I'll do is I will wear these around and really gauge people's feedback do they even notice if they don't notice or if they do notice what's their opinion on it after I ask them and and, and really get a gauge on it because um, Maybe they hate it. Maybe they think it's ugly. I've actually um, did just that with one person. It's a very small sample size, but I asked one girl at Nordstrom Rack, would you prefer the Desert Chuckas or the Chelsea Boots? And they were like, um, uh, Desert Chuckas for sure. So um, I just have a feeling that in this region it may not work, but heck, um, this region is is varied enough. There's there's a lot of uh, there's a good amount of diversity, and if it doesn't work in certain areas, I know it may work in others. There is a country bar like, uh, and some people there they still wear tons of them. They wear cowboy hats and cowboy boots. Maybe this will work perfectly there. So we will see, and that's it for this video. Uh, let me know in the uh, oh yeah leave a like hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments what shoes you have and which shoes you wish you had and what you're struggling with in terms of men's fashion